Holy War. The Holy War, BYU 26, Utah 17. And, man, I, I, I don't even know where to go with this one. Utah was never in this game, it felt like. It, they, they could do really nothing in the first half at all. The offense looked pedestrian at best. I thought that having Charlie Brewer in there would – it would make this team a little bit better. And in that BYU defense, like the line of scrimmage for BYU is serious. Serious, man. At, you called this game, like you told me, we are really throwing BYU out way too early because we know they got some old, like old men playing in this football game. I, They're feisty as hell. Yes. They're aggressive. They're rough. They run the football. This is one of those situations where the announcer just pissed me off. We're, we're like seven minutes, eight, the first, for, for it to be the holy war, the first five minutes of this game was drunk as hell. We had three turnovers in five minutes, all right? Yes. Utah, Utah turns the ball over. BYU gets the ball in the red zone, turns the ball over. Utah gets it to about the 40, turns the ball over again. I'm thinking, what in the hell is going on? Then BYU gets a field goal. BYU gets a touchdown. So, so it's a very much a defensive struggle game being played between the 20s, okay? The announcer says BYU is not able to run the football at all on this front of Utah. And I'm thinking, well, we're only about eight minutes into the game. That's kind of a tough, it's kind of a tough thing to say when the game has just started and it's kind of gone really weird back and forth already. But let's just see how it plays out. Very next play. Run the ball right off guard for seven yards. Runs the ball for nine more yards. And then they just pretend to run the ball the rest of the game. And both the both teams, by the way, had success doing that. Utah, 7.7 well, yeah. 7 yards per carry. BYU, 5.0 yards per carry. BYU had 231 yards rushing. And Utah had 193 yards rushing on 25 carries. But Charlie Brewer, like... It, not not good. 59 no. to 26, 147 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Hey, I, by the way, I think BYU got another stud quarterback, man. I think the Jared Hall kid takes some time. Is he Zach Wilson today? No. Could be Zach Wilson next year? Maybe. I don't know. Listen, here's the problem with that, Gary. Everyone expected Utah to be able to run the football on them. Everyone said Utah's better than them at the trenches. They were supposed to be better than them in the trenches on both sides. They were not on defense. The, The BYU offensive line, after about the middle of the first quarter, began to push Utah around and and open up holes and were able to run the football on them pretty good. You know what Charlie Brewer looked like? Charlie Brewer looked like he looked last year with a kind of a strange, weird Baylor team that wasn't very good and couldn't get anything going. Charlie Brewer might be a good leader, a good guy. He he doesn't he seems to struggle when games get tight if you're able to physically dominate your will against another opponent charlie brewer is a great he would make a fantastic iowa quarterback he yes. should have transferred to iowa okay yes. because when you're playing from in up front always and your defense is always putting you in good field position and you can run the ball on everybody and you've got four great tight ends that can they can catch the ball and they're just bigger and stronger and faster than everybody on the field Charlie Brewer is a fantastic quarterback for that situation. You need to make a play. Charlie Brewer is not the guy you want. Yeah, you're probably right the, about at that. At the helm. Hey, BYU, by the way, I think a big part of this, havoc rate for BYU, 0.26. Hell yes. 0.26, Hell yes. Utah, 0.145. Uh, BYU uh, created chaos. Just created chaos, and, and it really threw the Utah quarterback for a loop. I did the hate had gone too far. It, it, it just not. I've hey, never seen BYU as bad as people were saying BYU was. Kalani Sataki. I, I didn't have a chance to look this up, but I saw. I think I saw it on TV last night. First win in the series since 09? Is that right? Well, yeah. It's, I think it's his first time to beat him since he took over head coach. Uh, yeah. No, it is yeah. because I know they had won. Like Utah had won nine straight. Yeah. So, I mean, and just. Sataki's only been there for what? Like six years? Five or six, yeah. Five and, or six, and before yeah. that, I mean, it so, was yeah. Bronco had not won in, in a while. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.